Let us learn how to use the Tools panel in Flash. Select the Rectangle tool. Select the Stroke Color, Fill Color, Stroke Size, Style and Scale from the Property Inspector. Hold and drag the mouse pointer on the stage. As the rectangular shape is created, release the left mouse button. To draw a rounded rectangle, specify corner radius under the Rectangle Options section in the Properties panel. You can either specify the numeric value or use Corner Radius Control Slider to change the value for all the corners. Now click and draw a rectangle on the stage. You will get a rounded rectangle with the specified corner settings. Let us now talk about the Polystar tool. Select the small triangle on the Rectangle tool and choose the Polystar tool from the list. In the Properties Inspector, click on the Options button. You will get the Tool Settings dialog box. Click on the drop-down list of the Style option and select the Star Style. Enter the value that ranges from 3 to 32 in the Number of Sides text box. For start point size, enter the number between 0 and 1 to specify the depth of the star points. A number closure to 0 creates deeper points. For drawing a polygon, you do not require to change these settings. Click OK to close the Tool Settings dialog box. Click and drag the pointer on the stage to draw a star. Similarly, you can draw a polygon by selecting Polygon option in the Style text box. Now let's find out about the Line tool. Click on the Line tool. In the Property Inspector, select the Stroke Color, Line Thickness or Line Style as needed. Move the pointer to the stage. Click and drag it in the direction where you want to draw a line. Release the mouse button. You will get a line on the stage. Let us now talk about curving. After drawing a line, click on the Selection tool. Make sure the line is not selected. Move the pointer on the line. When the pointer changes to arrow with curve symbol, click and drag the line to draw a curve. Release the mouse button when the curve is made. Now we shall talk about the Pen tool. Select the Pen tool. Click on the stage to define the anchor point A. Click to create the second anchor point B at a distance. A. To complete an open path, double click the last point. B. To close a path, keep the Pen tool over the first anchor point. A small circle appears next to the pen tip when it is placed correctly. Click to close the path. Flash automatically fills the path once it becomes a closed outline. Let's now talk about the Pencil tool. Select the Pencil tool and choose the desired option. Select the Stroke Color, Stroke Height, Thickness and Style from the Property Inspector and draw the line. Now we shall talk about the text tool. Select the text tool. Change the font family, style, size and color etc. from the properties panel. Move the mouse pointer on the stage and start typing. You can also create a fixed width text box for horizontal text. To do so, simply drag the text tool to draw a rectangular area. As you type, the words are wrapped according to the width of the text box. Now let us discuss about the selection tools. To select a stroke, fill, text block or group, select the selection tool and click on the object. To select a fill shape and its stoked outline, double click the fill. You can also select the fill's shape and its outline by dragging to enclose the object within a rectangular selection mark you. Now we shall talk about the lasso tool. Click on the lasso tool. Move the pointer on the stage area. 
it changes to lasso shape. Click and drag the lasso tool around the object to specify the boundary of the selection. End the selection approximately from where you started. Release the mouse button and observe the selection. Ok, we will discuss about the sub-selection tool. Select the sub-selection tool and click on the line or shape outline. This reveals the points and paths that form the shape. When an anchor point is selected, it changes from a hollow dot to a solid dot. Drag the selected anchor point or anchor points to create the desired path. Let us find out how to transforming objects. Select the poly star tool from the tools panel and draw a star on the stage. Choose the pen tool and click on the star outline. It will display the various anchor points by which this shape has been formed. Click on the drop down arrow present at the lower right corner of the pen tool and select the add anchor point tool from the displayed list. A plus sign appears next to the pen tool. Click at the position where you want to add an anchor point. Now select the sub-selection tool and drag the different anchor points to modify the shape. You can convert a curve anchor point to a corner point with hard angles by selecting the Convert Anchor Point tool from the variance of the pen tool and clicking on the desired point. Whereas if you want to convert a corner point to a curved one, click and drag the point. Now we shall talk about the Paint Bucket tool. Select the Paint Bucket tool. Click on the Fill Color button. The color palette appears. You can also select the Fill Color option from the Properties panel. Select any color of your choice. Click the drop-down arrow of the Gap Size modifier and choose a Gap option to close the gap in the shape. Click inside the object to fill it with color. Let us now talk about the Ink Bottle tool. Click the drop down menu arrow at the corner of Paint Bucket. Ok, now let's discuss how to use Eraser tool. Select the Eraser tool. Click on the Eraser Mode modifier and select the required eraser. Click and drag it on the object to erase. 